Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, uh, today I will um, uh, discuss uh, an important uh, issue uh, in the clinical uh, uh, listening and clinical skills. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we have uh, general uh, clinical skills and uh, uh, special clinical uh, skills. I will start to talk uh, uh, about the um, general clinical skills, which I mentioned them in the, my last episode in um, the clinical practice uh, lecture series. Um, uh, to summarize what I ended with in my last episode about the uh, 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 clinical skills. Um, uh, uh, I mentioned that uh, we have general clinical skills, which are um, uh, the ability to um, uh, listen. Um, listening is a skill. And number two, thinking. Thinking is a skill. And number three uh, yeah. is uh, uh, um, uh, observation. Um, these are the basic, uh, common, um, most important three um, uh, general clinical uh, skills to listen, to think, and to uh, observe. Um, uh, today I will start to talk about the uh, listening, and then in my next episode I will talk about thinking, and then after I will talk about uh, uh, observation skill. Um, uh, uh, let us... Um, uh, understand first what is uh, listening. As we all know, uh, listening is um, a, a, a basic um, uh, human uh, ability, which um, many people don't uh, know or don't understand uh, it uh, deeply. Um, uh, listening is, by definition, um, is the ability to pay attention uh, so that you can accurately receive and um, accurately interpret uh, uh, messages um, in the communication process. This is the definition of um, uh, uh, listening. The ability, it is an ability, the ability to pay attention so that you can do two things, uh, receive and interpret, so that you can receive, accurately receive what the speaker or what the other side is talking about what's the message of the other side, what is the information the other side is conveying to the audience or to you. This is the ability to receive and to interpret in your mind and to interpret what he or she is um, uh, 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 trying to convey um, uh, to uh, you or to the um, uh, audience. So the ability to pay attention, and it starts with paying attention. The most important that you pay attention. So that you pay attention, number one, number two, to receive, number three, to interpret the messages in the communication process. So listening actually is a part of uh, communication. We communicate together in a meeting, in a conference, in life, in hospital, in, um, in the street, in any place. So listening is a part of communication, actually. And as we say, effective listening is a key to effective communication. And as I mentioned also in my last episode, that communication uh, skills um, is um, a topic by itself. And I will um, uh, talk about general communication skills after I finish talking about um, the listening, thinking, and um, observation uh, skills. So. Um, uh, talking about listening is actually an introduction to talking about communication in general. As I mentioned before, communication um, uh, is um, an important element of the management process. And anything in life is management. Anything in life is management. You should know how to manage your life. You should know how to manage your problems. You should know how to manage your patient. So part of the patient management is to communicate. As I mentioned before, Planning, organization, communication, coordination, and follow-up are the five main elements of uh, general and uh, uh, specific or business management. Um, uh, an important part of uh, the communication, التواصل, is listening. Uh, you can't communicate well without listening well. So effective listening is a key to effective communication. This is a, a, a fact. Um, 
So to listen, as I mentioned before, um, is you should know how to improve your uh, skills in uh, the your ability to uh, listen and uh, to uh, communicate. And as I mentioned, you should uh, uh, learn how to be an active and a positive and uh, effective uh, listener. This is what we call active, positive, effective listening. How to reach to this point of uh, being an effective, um, uh, active uh, uh, listener is by uh, 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 acquiring or by using what we call um, uh, key uh, uh, active listening uh, techniques. And the, um, the key or um, uh, the keys used for active listening is, number one, of course, is the paying attention. This is number one key, to pay attention so that you can uh, address and you can um, acknowledge the message of the uh, uh, listener, of the speaker. So the speaker or the other side or the patient or in our uh, uh, um, uh, uh, clinical uh, uh, practice situations in the clinic, the other side, the speaker to you is your patient. So you have to acknowledge the message of the the message of your patient. What your patient wants to talk to you about. What is the message he, which he or she wants to convey to you? When you you can't acknowledge this message if you don't pay attention to him or her. So number one key in the listening to be effective, active listener is to pay attention. And then um, you have. Um, to show um, number two key or the second key is showing that you are listening to him or her. You have to show to him or her that you are listening uh, to uh, him. And uh, number three is uh, by um, showing or giving a feedback or providing a feedback uh, to every point um, he or she is mentioning in the um, uh, 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 um, uh, message which or the information which he or she wanted to convey uh, to you. So providing feedback is number three key. And try to, number four is to defer judgment. Don't judge and don't comment too much and don't interrupt he, uh, uh, his or her train of thoughts. This is an important element of or important uh, key technique in um, uh, good effective listening. Don't interrupt the speaker. Don't interrupt your patient. Let him or her have his or her train of thoughts so that um, uh, it will not be interrupted. And maybe it's difficult to regain again or again back what, or maybe he will or she will forget what she wanted to uh, uh, say. So uh, defer judgment is um, number four key. And then the fifth key is um, that you have to respond uh, uh, appropriately to respond appropriately to the uh, speaker in general or uh, in our clinical situation to the patient, to your patient. So these are the uh, five main um, uh, listening um, uh, um, uh, 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 keys for uh, active uh, listening. Number one, to again, to I will repeat again, to accurately uh, paying attention. Number two is to show that you are listening. Number three is to provide a feedback. Number five is to defer any judgment. And number number four, and then number five is to respond um, uh, appropriately. Um, by this, um, you can uh, um, get and you can uh, uh, be uh, an effective um, uh, listener. And this is um, number one about the uh, what we call active or effective listening um, keys. Uh, the five uh, key active listening uh, techniques. This is about the techniques of active listening. And then we come to the, um, what is the um, uh, 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 types of listening. We should know that there are um, academically or theoretically there are um, uh, 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 four types of listening or in other um, opinions, there are seven types of listening. Anyway, four or five, I will try to mention all of them. The four main types of listening are um, the number one, the, what we call the uh, uh, um, 
full listening and the full listening is to um, um, uh, be or to have very close and careful um, uh, attention to pay very close and careful attention to what the other side the patient or the speaker is trying to inform you or to convey uh, to you um, his message to you or the information which he or she wanted to convey um, to you this the close and the careful the close and the careful attention to him or her is called the uh, full listening Number two is the deep listening. The deep listening is, in short, to try to or to commit yourself to try to understand the depth of the message of the the depth of the message of the um, uh, speaker or the patient words. The, for the patient, when he is talking to you about his symptoms or his uh, problems or his history or his um, uh, past history and uh, um, the uh, 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 his journey in his illness or in his health problem or her health problem, uh, they're, 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 they're trying to understand the depth in the depth biologically, psychologically, and socially, um, using what we call what the bio uh, psychosocial model in um, uh, primary care and, of course, in secondary care uh, medical practice or clinical practice, this bio uh, psychosocial model. In order to understand it in the patients, in your patient um, uh, history and in your patient uh, um, uh, 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 train of events, this is called the um, uh, uh, deep uh, listening. So this is deep listening, trying to understand uh, and committing yourself to understand the depth of your patient's uh, uh, problems. And then number three, we have what we call the critical thinking and then uh, the critical uh, listening. Uh, and then I will talk about it later uh, on. And um, um, then we uh, 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 come to what we call the uh, therapeutic uh, listening. Uh, then we have other, uh, we can broaden the spectrum of the types of listening other than the um, uh, four which I mentioned them, the four basic which I mentioned them, the uh, 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 deep listening, the full listening, the critical li listening, and the uh, therapeutic listening. We have what we call also the informational listening, in which we convey certain information, um, uh, uh, medical, scientific, etc. Um, uh, we have what we call the empathetic um, uh, 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 listening, um, uh, showing and this is a type of listening in situations which need to show to the other side or to your uh, speaker or to your patient a sort of empathy with his situation and with his um, um, a, a sequence of life events regarding his health um, status. Um, this is what we call the empathetic um, uh, listening. Uh, so we have the um, full listening deep listening, critical listening, therapeutic listening, informational lis listening, mm -hmm. empathetic um, listening. Um, these are the um, uh, main types of uh, listening. And then um, uh, the third point after uh, uh, you understand uh, the uh, techniques uh, of being effective listener, which I mentioned them, and then the types of listening which we might use in uh, general life and in clinical practice, which I mentioned them um, also. Uh, I will come to talk about the uh, seven uh, key uh, skills of um, uh, being an active listener or what we call uh, the active listening skills. And in the active listening skills, um, there are four, there are seven basic. Um, number one is uh, be attentive. You have to be attentive always to the other side in which or to which you are uh, uh, listening at ten, uh, listening uh, um, uh, 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 and number two is to ask open-ended questions this is number two skills ask open-ended uh, questions and number three is um, uh, ask uh, the patient about the what we call probing questions probing questions um, and uh, uh, request 
clarification also requesting clarification is an important listening skill ask your patient to clarify what he wanted or she wanted to uh, convey to you or wanted to inform you about this is called the clarification um, uh, uh, comments or clarification uh, questions so open-ended questions important um, probing questions important uh, clarification comments or clarification question important and then number five is try to use also paraphrases and try to um, uh, 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 comment um, on um, using sentences which re reflect that you have feelings towards your uh, patient so um, be attuned to and reflect feelings that you are sympathetic you are empathetic you understand you deeply understand the situation you deeply you 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 you, you catch the point and you catch the core of issue the upon the patient wanted to uh, convey to you regarding his um, uh, health problem from the diagnostic point of view from the therapeutic point of view um, uh, and then to summarize the um, uh, the what you got got at what you understood and what you deeply understood from your patient so that at the end you can reach to uh, you can because without having this listening you will not be able to um, uh, formulate a, a, a thought in your mind and at the end you reach to uh, what we call to a solution of the problem because this is a, 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 a what we call um, uh, 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 a clinical problem or clinical challenge you have to solve it clinical solving problem um, and or to a conclusion about the uh, 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 state about the case so you can't reach to a conclusion or to and this is the most important this is the result this is the this is the end point as we say this is the end point is to reach to um, to sum up and reach to a conclusion or to a solution you can't do this without having effective communication with your patient and you can't have effective communication with your patient without having effective uh, listening um, so this is the uh, what i wanted to talk today about uh, listening as a skill and i clarified to summarize i clarified and i mentioned the, the the definition of listening what is the listening skill what's meant by the uh, the listening as an ability uh, as a uh, ability um, doctor ability human ability personal ability um, the listening definition and types of listening and techniques to be an effective active listener and the types of listening and then lastly i mentioned the uh, seven key active listening uh, skills uh, to be an active effective positive uh, listener uh, by this i will end my um, uh, presentation or my uh, 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 talk today uh, about listening as a common or a general uh, clinical skill. Next time I will uh, talk about the thinking as um, an important and a pivotal uh, also a general um, uh, uh, skill which should be acquired by clinicians in uh, clinical uh, practice. Thank you so much and I hope everybody could um, and have um, uh, understood and uh, 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 got what I wanted to um, mention and uh, to convey and what is the message which I wanted to convey in this episode. Thank you so much and have a good day.